11 years, bittersweet, bittersweet moment. We are here in our former empty house. Um, just finished cleaning up the majority of the stuff. We got a little, little more to do, like the fridge, I believe, and a couple of small things. But we are uh, pretty much done in here. And we have cleaned it all up. Made it look as pretty as we need to make it look. Yeah, we have uh, successfully sold our house and it's kind of bittersweet. It's, it's a sad day, but it's also a joyous one because now we get to start our new chapter. You know, living an RV life, living a dream, and uh, traveling and seeing new things and meeting new people, going to places, uh, and not being a slave to the nine to five. So just wrapping up here. Getting out. Uh, yeah, 11 years. Building up this house making it the house that it is today. He, I mean, we put a lot of work into this house. It paid off, you know what I mean? It paid off. I, I, I'm not gonna act like it didn't, but um, yeah, still bittersweet, man. Still bittersweet. On to the next chapter. Tales of travel, all right? So this little guy right here was dripping all night. We did not spend the night here. We actually just um, just got back here this morning um, and got that just flowing. And I have no idea, once again, we have no idea what we're doing. So it looks like when we set the water up last night, um, I didn't turn the valve all the way to city. Whoops. So now it's all the way on city, which is down here, but it was over, just a hair over on the tank side. And looks like my tank filled up and that's just the overflow. So the good news is it's not nothing, it's not anything that we need to actually fix. I just need to turn the valve all the way. More tales of travel. Especially when you don't know what you're doing. Situation is looking really, really grim up in here. It's like, you know, nowhere to really walk. Just some narrow pathways. Okay. What are you doing? Got some boots and pretzels. Okay, all right. But look at this. Uh, just uh, like clutter everywhere. We'll get it right by the end of the night. We'll get it right by the end of the night. So, honey, we decided, eh, I don't know, two, three months ago. <laughs> we were gonna do this like idiots? We were gonna do this thing, right? <laughs> sure. We were going to do this thing. We were going to fix up the house, sell the house, 
and um, maybe buy an RV and travel the entire country, every state, all 50. Uh -huh. And of course, Hawaii, we can't take the RV, but we're still going to make it over there somehow, some way without the RV. But we've already had a few struggles, right? So what's your struggle right now? What's your struggle right now today with what you're doing? Where do I put my food? I can't reach up high. I'm little. Okay, I so we got storage up high. Can't reach that. Storage up high. Storage up high. I, I can open and can't actually reach. Can't reach that. <laughs> I can only reach a little bit in there. <laughs> I can't reach the top. <laughs> And there's really, literally no other place to store it. So, guess what we need to go do? What? Well, since you can't grow, you gotta buy a step ladder. I am not getting a step ladder, okay? I am little for a reason. That's why I have a tall husband. And what are you gonna do when I'm not here? Not use the stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's how you feel. That's how I feel today. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue unpacking. This is yeah. not bad. trying to figure out how to hook up the sewer line. Just, um... We're going to at least, at least need to do the mom. Um... Yeah, stinky job. We're figuring it out. We're getting it done. Uh-oh. Just move it around. back at it. It is uh, six o'clock in the morning. I've been up for eh, 4 30. Just kind of laying in bed for a while. Finally decided to get up and do something so I took the puppers for a walk. And now Time to finish tackling this today. Fun, fun day. What do you want, Graham? Graham's talking to me. What do you want, Grammy? Food? Outside? Who knows? Fun filled day. Let's do it. shopping. I was waving. First off for the new RV. And um, somebody forgot to empty trash. So <laughs> challenges. More and more challenges, right? That's just kind of like common sense though. Like let's just make sure we empty the, the truck before we go buy a whole bunch of stuff to put in there. In my defense. Pretty simple. I mean, look. <laughs> That's going to easily fit in the back. I remembered after we were halfway here. So oh. <laughs> she remembered after we were halfway here. I see what I spent. Now I'm cramped. I don't know if y'all noticed this or not about me, but I'm six foot five. So I bought this for my mom. I'm a tall man. This ain't cool. So my knee is in the dashboard. Bro, I can just buy Robux with my money, but I'm not chill out. This 
say go? I should have to wait for my mom to put it on. Uh, so I got this bag. Were you on the phone there, Chloe? Huh? Yeah. You on the phone? Yeah. Mm. Well, I've been She's on the phone with a boy. A red. Is it this one? And she calls brother. Oh, yeah. Who are we talking crazy. about? Where I'm driving to. Because I still don't know what that was. Ugh. He put a seatbelt on. Is this woman right here? You drive bad. I don't know. Stop trying to make me seem like I'm the worst person. She's not the worst person. I wouldn't have married her. But Jesus, the driving? Questionable. <laughs> really? I can make it worse and still be safe. See? You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? I can make it worse. She is deliberately, intentionally being a bad driver. Intentionally being a bad driver. It took it all and just sat there until I pulled it out. Hmm. I didn't think about it. I pulled my uh my gimbal out. I should have grabbed it so that way this would be a whole lot smoother. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the camera here so yeah, I don't have to deal with all the bumping up and down, the bouncing, and all that good stuff. Deuces. So now that we're, you know, officially living the RV life, and, uh, you know, that, that our house is gone, just in the RV, uh, we figured we'd spend more time outdoors, right? Why not? That's the whole point of having a recreational vehicle, is to be able to travel and spend more time outside. So we say, hey, we can go to Walmart and find us some really um, nice kind of comfortable chairs to sit on when we're outside. Except they got slim pickings. There's nothing really nice. So check out um, Amazon. Amazon has a nice kind of reclining chair. Really comfortable looking. I've said them before, they actually are very comfortable. So. I think I'm just gonna order one from Amazon and call it a day. Hopefully it has Prime and I can just get it today or tomorrow from one of the nearest pickup locations near my RV and uh, we'll be good to go because this is the second Walmart I've been to looking for a nice comfortable camping chair that I can use on the patio and I cannot find it. At least that's the one I'm looking for. They got a couple of them but they don't look very comfortable. Anywho, but, but um, also, I will make sure I leave a link in the description for you guys if you are looking for some really comfortable chairs to sit in. That way you don't have to go through the hassle I went through trying to find it. You can just click the link below, right? <laughs> So part of our RV life plan is, um, you know, we want to actually get out and explore and to see the country, right? And uh, what better way to do that than on a motorcycle? Um, you know, there's no, there's no window, there's no, nothing kind of distracting you kind of in your way, you're out, you're feeling, you're smelling, you're you're enjoying so a few weeks ago we took the motorcycle uh, test and uh, Melissa and I we both passed we both ended up getting um, smaller bikes the Sportsters the Harley uh, Nightster was the one I got it was 2009 and I looked very big on it because I am six foot five so um, I traded mine in and got a really big nice bike like the one, that gray one you see behind me, similar to that one. Um, and then Melissa still had her Sportster, which is the Iron 883, it was a brand new one. We both had them for eh, a month, you know, four weeks or so. Um, but riding bikes, man, you really, you really grow into it really quickly. So um, I traded mine, now we're back at Harley 
and Melissa is looking to trade hers. And um, she actually is going to test drive. And I'm pretty sure she's going to get this bike as long as it's within the, the range of what we want to pay. So when she comes back, I will get a little video of this bike and then we'll see if she's going to get it or she's going to walk away from it. Who knows? All right. She's coming up from a test drive. That's not her. That's the, that's the salesman right there. There she is, that bright pink on. Coming in. <laughs> I told you you would. I told you if you sat on that bike, you were going to get it. You wanted it. And if you test drive it, you're going to realize how much more comfortable it is than yours. She did great. I was really nervous. Yeah, I was too, but I took my hand, my handlebar is up there. You like it? So you like it? Should have brought me. <laughs> Look, I've been, I've been, I mean, I gotta admit, I was, I was pushing you to get it, so, because I knew once you felt what I was feeling that it, it would be something that you want to ride on, um, and you can go longer distances with that, especially when the you're going biggest, back and forth to work. The biggest thing is, is I have to keep moving my foot so far forward because the, the shifter is, shifter. yeah, it's a lot different. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> stretch feet leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm recording you still. You got mine, you got mine. Way up. You're, uh, talking about your, uh, your manic. Yeah. The manic side is way up. Yeah, yeah so we're going to run some numbers. <laughs> there you have it. There it is. We're going to run some doggone numbers. <laughs> exactly what I said was going to happen. That's why I was, like, trying to walk out of here. I'm glad I didn't get anything the other day because that one wasn't here the other day. It wasn't. I know. I walked by and I saw the color and I was just like, damn, I should have waited a, a week. <laughs> the guy over there was like, you're test driving that one, ain't you? <laughs> he yeah. was like, your husband just walked by and said something. <laughs> He's going to be so jelly. <laughs> no, I actually, I, I, I like mine, even though it's the, the bright orange. Um, and blue is my favorite color, which is why it attracted me, that, that blue and black. I love the colors. But I like the customization that's already done on my bike. Like, like I said, the the, the way the shifter is, um, and then the um, the handlebars. Oh, them handlebars are like the the sound of it, the pipes. You know what I mean? It's. I think the, all the newer ones are quieter. I swear, the newer the bike is, the quieter the motor is, or quieter the sensor. Yeah. Um, you can do something to change that out. All right, it was three. Oh, mine was I think three seventy nine or three ninety seven. Well, he's got to check in the new, the new ones now. No, he said check on yours. Mine is three forty, or that oh, one is three forty nine. Oh. As I said, I'm I'm trading it in like thirty mile difference. Well, don't get too excited. You got to make sure the numbers work. I know. That's how I'm like. Um, that's double what you paid what you paid for yours. Um, yeah, it's gonna double the payment. My payment's two seventy. It'll put me if, if we double the payment, that's gonna put me over five hundred. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at five with with all the gap and all that stuff. So, so um, I did another thing. <laughs> what you doing there, hun? Buying another bike. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nope, no can do. Uh, no. It 
she's not here today, is she? Sandy is no. not at the today. So that's Sandy's daughter. Hi, girl. Hi. Oh, we gotta call the insurance. <laughs> like so, we already gotta change it. <laughs> We're here. Three days ago. <laughs> and I just ordered a new policy with you three days ago. <laughs> So what are you thinking? What are you feeling? I'm thinking I just made a really big commitment. Mm. But I like the commitment. Yeah? No. Well, see, it's a good thing I didn't have time to put the lights on there. So it's early morning, I don't know, 7.45, something like that. And um, we noticed that our our sinks were starting to back up with water, they weren't draining properly. And I'm like, oh crap, what do we do? Do we snake it? Do we do we plunge it? And uh, we thought, well, hey, maybe the tanks are just full. So I come out here and I, I pull this little lever here up, a um, little bit of Water comes out, not a whole lot. We have two, so I pulled that one as well. Nothing came out of that one. So I'm like, shoot, man, what's going on? Like, there's, it's, it's clogged. So I, I, I get up, I get dressed, I run up to, to Walmart, and um, I pick up some, some plumbing supplies so I can try to unclog this drain, right? And while I'm at Walmart, Melissa calls me and she's like, hey, did you, did you, um open the valve for the gray tank? Do what? <laughs> you want me to do who? Uh, so apparently, there's another valve I was supposed to open, and I didn't. So that one is back over here. Hang on, I'm, I'm ducking and crawling. Six foot five man should not be up under this godforsaken RV. But look at that. There's two valves in there. One there and eh, one over here. You can't really see it. There it is. So those are two separate tanks. One is for the, the gray tank and one is for the black tank. Me no know we had a gray tank and a black tank. And I didn't know I had a separate set of valves I had to open up in order to drain it. Whoops. So now we're gonna go back in the RV really quickly and check to see if our sinks are actually draining now. At first I thought it was just one sink, then I realized it was, uh, I realized it was multiple. Yep. So now we have the sink is drained and the bathtub is drained. So we were just plumb full. And I'm glad we figured it out. Morning. So now let me go shut everything down because uh, I got to leave here in 15 minutes and I still haven't had my coffee. You know, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. Then when I did get ready to make coffee, realized, hey, there's no sugar. <sighs> it's been a very, very fun morning. Stay tuned.